The most powerful thing that art can do is that art can change our imagination around what's possible. You see something that touches your heart or touches your sense of mystery. How do you share that with an audience? To share it properly with an audience, you have to let them discover it for themselves. If you can see my painting, feel what I feel, I think that then you will want more. You will ask more of your community, ask more of yourself. One of the most powerful aspects of art making is its capacity to take something that might be painful and transform it into something new. Take an ending and transform it into a beginning. is that art is about life. Art reflects every facet of human experience and it allows us to connect in so many ways and understand each other. I am very excited and honored to be leading Grand PFA. I look forward to tapping into the strengths of our identity as an institution that has been embracing the avant-garde since the very beginning, embracing the local and the international, and making sure that we're creating space for human experiences, ways of being, ways of making that we're not traditionally seeing in museums. The MPFA has always been leading the experimentation of how a museum involves artists in its program and having these opportunities to kind of juxtapose traditional forms and very experimental forms. We had a dance class here. I loved that. People's emotions and bodies can think through things too, not just our heads. The most difficult part is just getting up and like activating people to just not feel like, oh, can I do this, can I not do this, and literally welcoming them. I grew up in the Bay Area, so BAM PFA has played a major role in my interest in cinema. I would go there and sit in the theater and watch films, and I think, you know, that played a big role in my desire to learn more about cinema and a cinematic practice. The PFA is a place for me to see every film made by every director I've ever been interested in, and that's invaluable. One unique thing about BAMFA is that we have a student committee composed of 60 members. They're all students at UC Berkeley and we try to align with exhibits and installations that are going on here and bring really interesting programming that not only supports student artists but also is interesting to people who might not have otherwise come to the museum. What I love about BAM PFA is how it offers opportunities for students to curate as well. And in some cases, for students to even question how the institution works and to ask why are things run this way. So it's an opportunity to invite critical dialogue in a way that helps even reveal our own blind spots. I think the museum is at the heart of a community in a lot of ways. And right now, it's just a time of generosity and wanting to share and extend ourselves outward towards people. Being fearless in a museum is to show those artists that are not known, to bring new voices into this space, to encourage participation. I think it's a moral imperative to open up our museum spaces to a greater range of human expression and experience. Mm -hmm.